All right. Number Mark McGuire, 25. Here we go. Last one. Got my brother Jeff here again. What's going on, He's guys? He's back. How's it going? So this is the third video for today. Made sure to wipe off the face paint for the bathroom, the whole pun, Paul Bunyan thing. Yep. Ooh, you're going to red now. Baseball. Baseball, Baseball red. red. Oh, I guess we're doing football. Ooh, we should probably start out. No, no. Nah, we're going to go with it. Okay. I don't want to do it. Yep. All right. So today's third video. First video, number 23, we talked about baseball, yep. 24, basketball, 25, football. It's all about football today. I think it's the least favorite of both of ours. Yes. When we look at autographs, memorabilia, jersey, autograph, rookie, whatever it is. I think football is our least favorite. We all like Randy Moss. Yep. But collecting wise, for me personally, I'd say baseball is number one, basketball is number two. Are you the same way? I'd say basketball. Basketball for you, number one? Yeah, basketball okay. for sure. All right, so same as we did before. Buy, sell, or hold? Sounds good. What do you think? What should we start with? What conversation should we start? I think we should go to the Super Bowl. All right. Mike Evans. All right. So I was definitely buying Mike Evans before Tom Brady came. Mm -hmm. um, 2014, I believe. 2014 rookie. Yep. Same as Beckham. Same yeah. as Jarvis Landry. Mm -hmm. He was always my favorite out of the, yeah, he's the awesome. bunch. Um, I'm realizing that uh, Johnny Manziel was probably good because of him. Yep, that didn't hurt. Was that the right team combo? Yeah, and, and, yeah. and, and yep. Um, I see that with Jameis Winston had a couple good targets too. Mm -hmm. Trying to think. But it's interesting to see how they pan out and you see the bust. You're like, oh, maybe it was that player that kind of helped them. Right. So this one is uh, Rookies and Stars autograph. Sticker auto from Rookies and Stars, number to 299. I've been a buy for years. I think I missed a little bit of window to sell this year. Right, Super Bowl. Um, but I think that's still an opportunity I'm gonna hold for Mike Evans, what do you think? I would say hold too. A lot of the wide receivers don't get as much love as the quarterbacks. I think with this one, the ceiling would be about $50. Probably. Yeah. Probably. I think that one about for like 25. Yeah, there's a lot of opportunities to buy low the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're both holding, but I'll be looking for an opportunity to sell sometime, I think this season. In the market, yep. Yeah. All right, next one. Ooh, legendary. This one, Priest Holmes. What do you remember about him with fantasy football? Oh man, from 2002, 2003, and 2004, he was just the man. I mean, he carried your fantasy team for three years. Arguably three of the best consecutive seasons I have seen in my lifetime of playing fantasy football. Just a stud. I just love that auto, too. Right, that is really cool. That's cool. All Interesting right. little fact about Priest Holmes. You know, I name dropped in the basketball video. <laughs> we yeah. actually sat next to him in the movie theater in San Antonio. We were seeing the family friendly movie, The Hangover, in the theaters, and Priest Holmes actually sat next to my wife. That was pretty neat to see. It's the only reason I bought the card. Right. He's kind of <laughs> I ended up buying this card after I heard that story. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I think I got this for like eight bucks. That's worth it. He's yeah. a stud. I don't think there's a whole lot of Priest Holmes fans that I could make money off this. This is just right. one that I thought was cool. Yeah, that's cool. All right. Next one. We talked a little bit about Tampa Bay. Another Tampa Bay player. This is Jameis Winston. I think he'll get a starting job sometime this year. I would think so. He's one that I'm just definitely getting ready to sell whenever there's an opportunity. Yeah. So this is from 2018 Don Ross, numbered out of 10. Oh, wow. I didn't see that. So sticker out of Jameis Winston. That's cool. If he goes uh, to the right team, he could throw up 40 touchdowns, 5,000 yards. I think they got this from Nick. Um, That's cool. I think this has the possibility of being very un uh, irrelevant. But if he gets signed with, or if he is the quarterback mm -hmm. for the Saints, yeah. if Russell Wilson doesn't get to the Saints, which could happen. That's what they're saying. If they make him the quarterback of the Saints, I could see this being a great selling opportunity. For sure. Absolutely. Um, I bought a bunch of Prism rookies of him in the last six weeks, or last six months, because I knew that he still had enough talent to be a starter somewhere. For sure. Absolutely. It's too late now. I think other people are buying too. 
Yeah, hold um, on to that one. Sell it soon. Cool. All right, Jared Goff. Mm -hmm. What do you think? This is a... Uh, doo -doo -doo. I remember what his rookie year was. 17? I think it's 17. 16 or 17. 16, yeah. 17. Something. So it's not a rookie year. Jared Goff, out of the, I think, elements, football. I think they only made this set one year. Mm -hmm. But buy, sell, or hold Jared Goff. Now he's with Detroit. I would hold it for now. Yeah. I could see, you know, he's got a lot of weapons in Detroit, just like he did in Los Angeles. I, I could see him putting up pretty good stats this year. Yeah. Good card. I think I missed a window where I could have sold it. I think with the, the Stafford Jared Goff time, I sh if I would have sold it, I probably had a two day window where I could have sold it. Right. Um, I think just hold. Yeah. yeah. Hold it. All right. Next one. Talking about buying opportunities when you're traded. DeAndre Hopkins, rookie auto. Ooh. How much did you pay for that? Do you remember? Uh, this one. I can't remember. I'm trying to remember if this was an eBay pickup or what. That's a nice card, though. So draft ticket, not numbered, from 2013. I can't remember where I got this from, if it was eBay or if it was collection pickup. I would hold on to that. I mean, yeah. he's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. Do you think Arizona has a chance to go far in the playoffs? I think so. J.J. Watt now yeah. signed? Yeah. So Watt and Kyler Murray, I think he's a top five quarterback yeah. in the future. So, yeah, I think this one, I think there'll be an opportunity, a selling opportunity in the next couple of years. For sure. Yeah, I wouldn't put it on eBay right now in the offseason. No, but. absolutely not, no. Sell that once the season starts, if he starts. And it is an on-card auto, which is neat. Yeah. All right. That's sweet. Another dynamic receiver, Michael Thomas. It's a sticker auto. Rookie auto from Panini Honors, numbered out of 50. That's sweet. There's definitely talk about the whole Russell Wilson trade. Somebody suggested trading Michael Thomas to Seattle for Russell Wilson, plus a lot of picks and a bunch of other random stuff. But Could you imagine Tyler Lockett, DK, and Michael Thomas on the same? <laughs> they also threw in Elvin Kamara's name, too. Wow. They are talking about what would you get rid of to get Russell Wilson on your team? And they said, well, you can move Michael Thomas and Alvin Kamara, which wow. imagine that offense. I don't know who your quarterback would be. I think we could, step in. We could step in and throw 40 <laughs> touchdowns that offense. Because that's Goldman's. Yeah, you know? we're very athletic. That's right. So, yeah, Michael Thomas, buy, sell, or hold him as an investment. I don't like him personally as much as D-Hop. Yeah. I think he's kind of a little whiny baby. Yeah. But, man, he is talented. Yeah. I would say wait for him to go off one week. I think there's nothing safer than getting a rookie auto. Yeah, that's a sweet card. If you have that rookie symbol on there, yeah. numbered, you can't go wrong with those right. kind of things. So right. whenever I purchase autographs, I look immediately for the rookie year ones. Because right. those will hold the best value for, for sure. sure absolutely so, all right and the last football card we have before we talk about a giveaway Ooh. gail sayers Ooh, that's awesome the timing worked out i mean i just happened to buy this like three weeks before he passed away it right. just happened to work out that way right. um i love i mean i've talked about the sports illustrated for kids collection from 99 2000 i love these oh yeah those are really neat so that's i think something i'd hold Absolutely. Um, I think even common players that have an issue, uh, that have an autograph in Sports Illustrated, I would pay five, five, six, seven, eight bucks. And that, even was, if, that was before the market was flooded, too, with all yeah. the autographs. Yeah. I don't think they had sticker autos a whole no, lot. It's no, more no. common in 99. 90% of stuff was on card autos. But, yeah. Yeah, I definitely hang on to that one. Cool, cool. And I think that one was only 35 something like that. Very nice. cheap. Right. All right, that's a quick one. Right. Oh, one more I forgot to share. Colin Kaepernick. Probably one of my favorite cards. Buy, sell, or hold Colin Kaepernick cards right now. I would say hold it. Yeah. I feel like he's so relevant in culture today that that might be something to hang on to. 
maybe sell in a couple of years. I mean, this card right here, I got this after everything happened with the kneeling, his cards were dirt cheap for a long time. Right. It was, I got this for $25. Oh, wow. It was extremely cheap, and I was getting the top rookies for a buck. Wow. Um, I think the buy-in, when he, when he knelt down, I mean, the buy-in of the average adult was 30%. Right. Now it's accepted probably 70, 80%. Yeah. So I think his cards are reflecting that now. His autographs, you can't get an autograph under 50 bucks. Yeah. Top rookies go for about five to 10 now. Yeah. So they've five X'd in the last three years and he'll be re relevant for 20 years. Right, and if anybody ever signs him, yeah. I can see that being a hundred dollar card, easy, easy. Yeah. I think his days of playing are over. Right. I don't think it's worth the risk of risking your health to play football anymore at this point. Right. So I think, I think he'll do just fine public speaking his brand alone right he's got a lot he's got a bright future for sure i assume him he'll try to hold political office one day like Maybe. lebron yeah like that'd be cool wouldn't that be interesting lebron president vice president colin kaepernick there you go never know never know all right in the giveaway i showed this last video pudge pudge I don't know what this would sell for. 15, 20? I don't know. Man, but you guys better comment on this video or I'm gonna win all these things. <laughs> and that's what I want you guys to do. I want right. you to go back and all the giveaway videos, just follow your host would do and then you have a chance to win. What should they do for this? Hmm. How about just out of the three videos, what is your favorite auto? Out of the baseball, basketball, football video, favorite auto. What is your favorite auto of those three? Ooh. The basketball. So there's the Griffey. Ooh. I would, Carmelo, Magic. I would say the Magic or the Oscar. Yeah, I, I love that. With uh, D Hop coming in third, and maybe that Griffey right up there as well. Yeah. That might actually be number one, that Griffey. That's pretty I sweet. Know. I yeah, think my, my two favorite cards, and it's going to be really hard to. I think these are my two favorite right now. Yeah. Before I got the Griffey, it was definitely this one. Yeah. Um, and there are certain cards, like autographs. I'm in no rush to sell autographs. Right. Um, I don't mind selling. So, like, for you, what is your advice for me? You know how many cards I have. Mm -hmm. What would you sell? What should be my priority of selling in the next two months? Well, like you said, you know, there's no real rush on the autos and game jerseys or rookies. I would just start selling some of the inserts. You guys should see his collection. He's got a lot of crazy random. You want to tell him about that Iverson you just found today? So I knew I had a bunch of Iversons. Probably, would you say, 1,500? Probably, yeah. Um, and I knew I really went hard on, like, the 96, 97, 98 mm -hmm. early Iversons. Right, all that stuff that's skyrocketing right now. I didn't even know I remember I had this. Mm -hmm. It was a Star Date 2000 Iverson. Right. I didn't know I had that. I know that the Kobe, what did the Kobe go for? Several thousand. Just raw. Yeah. But the PSA, that was one as great and it went for 15,000. Something crazy. It was crazy. Like so I, I don't remember getting that. Um, it, it, it had to be one of the rookie lots that I get over the years where I just look for 40 rookies, some insert ones, and mm -hmm. I, I know I didn't pay more than 30 bucks for a rookie lot. Because for the longest time, I would never buy a lot for over 50 bucks. So I have barely anything invested in that. And was it last sales, 450 or 350? Crazy. Yeah. So that's what I'd recommend trying to sell while they're super hot or all the inserts and parallels that, you know, maybe you're not super attached to like some of these autographs. No, I, I'm attached to the autographs. Right. I'm getting attached to some of the rookies that I get. But the inserts, I don't need to keep the shiny ones. For sure. That's start It's cool, though. It sparkles. So many. Glitter. So much glitter. Very, very fabulous. All right. All right. That's it. Cool. All right. Cheers. All right. Thanks for watching. Yep. He's back off to Texas soon. Yep. So maybe this summer. Can we do more videos this summer? Oh, for sure. That'd be fun. All right. Look forward to it. All right. All right. Bye.